This is the H10 block assembly video. And H10 is not a modified block, so we use exactly what is in the Dear Jane book. So I have my block pieces laid out. And you have quarter square triangle units in each corner. And there's rectangles between them. And then there's two half square triangle units in the center with squares. So I have these are going to be assembled into a block that gets paired with this and so on and so forth and this will be my middle block that I assemble and then I will put, attach these two side pieces to make it a row. These are my quarter square triangle units with my um, rectangles between and that will be a row and this will be a row. So effectively, sorry about the glare, effectively I will be assembling these, attaching it to this, assembling these, attaching it to this, and then making this one big square and edging it with the rectangles. And then I will be assembling these and attaching these to the rectangles, assembling these into their rows, and then attaching these rows together. Basting for this particular block, my quarter square triangle uh, basting, I will baste the outside bits first and then these so therefore the tags will be on the outside. I will baste these short edges first and then the longer edges and these I will baste opposite sides and then opposite sides. It just seems to be easier to remove the papers when I get to that point. For my half square triangles I'm going to do the outside 90 degree angles first and then this so therefore my tags will be going away from the middle so that those will be easier to connect. And then I will be attaching those to my squares. Okay, so I got my pieces basted. I basted this outside first and then these two edges. And then these pieces are um, taped together. I haven't stitched them yet, but these are taped together. And um, I'll stitch them together and then they'll be my quarter square triangle units. And I have to make four of those total. These two aren't basted yet. And then this is basted. So I will be connecting all of these. So I've got my quarter square triangle units made. And I've basted this and connected this to my other quarter square triangle unit. And I'm going to make this a big row. And this will be one of these units. And then this one I've already put together. So we've got the top row and the bottom row almost done. I've just got to finish this seam. And then I'm going to put my middle together. So I put my half square triangle units together and I basted my squares. And then I put these together in a pair. They're taped, they're not stitched yet. And then I'm going to put these together. And then they're going to be in this formation and they're going to look just like that. So that means the white points have to touch together. So then I will have my middle section put together. All right, so I got my middle put together and I've put on my outside rectangle and then I'm gonna put on my other outside rectangle to finish the row. And then I'm going to connect my rows like so. That doesn't look very nice. And then I can have my block done. So now I'm taping my rows together and I will stitch them and make sure that I match up my seams as I go in there. And then I will connect this and I will be done with my block. And here is my completed H10 block.